Right. I've been, been getting bothered from these people. Past due, they're called, right? And they're uh, hustling me for £76.92 that I refuse to pay three, the mobile phone people. Um, aye. Uh, £76. Like, I'm no good for that. I just refuse to pay them because they were incompetent. It was terrible service. Overcharged us all the time. Nonsense. So they're not getting their money. So anyway, I'm making this wee video. So, as a, as a means of showing people how to deal with debt collectors. Okay, here we go. Right, now the number for these people, right, they're a Glasgow company, past due credit solutions, right? And the telephone number is 01, oh shit, dialing as we speak, right? 0141 951 6443. I think everybody should phone them and hassle them, whether you're you do money or not. Well, calls may be recorded for security purposes. I fucking hope so. I'm going to give them a fucking mouthful. Hello, Andy. Nice to nice to be talking to you this fine morning. What what do you want from me? A client reference. Case number, right? I'm a case now. I'm a four four six seven four seven zero. Wish I had a loud speaker phone, but I didn't. I'm talking to Andy. My name is June Brown. At 7D 5th Street, DD15QN. Calls are recorded, yeah, well I'm recording it at my end as well, my dear, okay? Cars Lee Road. Right, now, I cannot, I've given you the wrong postcode, that's my previous address. My new postcode is DD15QN. Excuse me. You're wanting a security, I bet you're going to ask me for my date of birth. Well, I'm not going to tell you, darling, I didn't give that information out to strange men, okay? There's no reason for you to get my date of birth. Uh, well, I didn't care about your clients, because they're not getting anything from me. That's what I'm phoning to tell you, OK? <laughs> now, what else do you need to know from me? Yeah, yeah, right. Three were a terrible, terrible mobile phone provider. They were continually, oh, just... Uh, given, charging us loads and, oh, they were awful. So I decided I'm not paying them, right? Now then, you've bought the debt, haven't you? All right, okay, you work for three. Okay, right, well, I'm just phoning you. Um, sorry, what's your name again? Andy, I'm just phoning you, Andy, to tell you, you're not getting this money out of me. So, um, what today is, rather than sending me any more threatening letters, just make sure your client refers me to the courts, because I would rather plead my case in the court than, than um, call you at considerable expense to myself to deal with this. They're not getting anything. Mm hmm? Oh, well, it doesn't matter, it's still on my account, right? What's it for, then? All right, well, I'm all Abdi money, so, like, aye. Yeah, yeah, that was overpriced as well. My mobile dongle was was overpriced as well. If I'd been getting a decent service, I would have paid you. But under no circumstances am I paying this debt. £76? No way, right? Um, okay, I've, I've, what will happen if I don't pay you? You'll just then, somebody else will buy the debt. I couldn't give a, I couldn't give, I, I really couldn't care less about my, my credit rating, my dear kid. I didn't need a mortgage, I didn't need credit, I didn't, tr I, 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 I didn't I trust the banks with my money. I'm not wanting to get into debt, so my credit rating is immaterial to me, can I? I didn't want debt. Oh, I, I didn't care, Andy, I really didn't care, can hmm? <laughs> Nothing will happen. Send us as many letters as you like, Andy. I'll be sending them right back. We we read marker pen, pen and swear words on them. Um, listen, darling, do you like your job? Do you like your job? Do you? Do you not have to phone people and hassle them for money all the time? Do you know? Do you just you just you just mind the calls when people phone you? Right. So you're not a debt collector. But you didn't actually have to. You didn't have personally have to hassle people for money. Oh, that's good then. Do you get paid? Did you do you get paid for your? Did you get paid well? Or you on minimum wage? Do you mind me asking? 
Okay, no, sorry, I'm just asking you as a, as a human being to another human being, my dear. I'm just wondering. I just wonder what would motivate people to work for debt collection agencies. Because all you do is hassle poor people. Well, you do, really. I mean, it's not... You have to be poor to get into debt. You didn't get the likes of George Osborne in past due credit solutions uh, bothering them for money. And it's just us poor folk who have no got it. That's, that's what you're dealing with. You don't feel bad about that, Andy. <laughs> I think you didn't want to go in there, honey, but... <laughs> Wait, listen, Andy, I'm filming this and I want to put it on YouTube. So, um, so yeah, so you've been very, very pleasant. I must say with you, Ken, what, darling, you sound like an intelligent, friendly lady. Get a better, get a better fucking job, Andy. Ken, what I mean? Get a better job. <laughs> you didn't hate working in call centres all your days, my darling. Do you play a musical instrument? What do you play? Tell us. You play the drum. I love drummers, darling. I love boys with rhythm. What band are you in? Ah! <laughs> you fear they'll find you in stock here. <laughs> Listen, darling. Pleasure talking to you, but get a better job. Christ almighty, get yourself on top of the fucking pops. Oh no, that doesn't, that doesn't exist anymore. Become a YouTube sensation and tell the debt collectors to stick their job up their arse, Andy. <laughs> Right, darling, put all the, put everything that I've told you today on notes on my account, right, and tell them any letters they send me will be getting sent back with a red pen, fuck off, written all over them, okay? Right, love you, gorgeous, keep banging the drums, bye! <laughs> that was, that was a true, that was a real phone call, that wasn't me just acting the fucking goat, that was a real phone call, okay, that's how you do it.